Hey there and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Chibi Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Let's get started in the middle of our page with the nose. We're going to start on the left side, just draw a curve over towards the right. From here we're going to take these sides and just curve down. Even curves. Now we're going to connect those two points with a straight line. Let's add in the nostrils. So on the left side here we're going to draw a little half circle on the left. And we'll add a half circle on the right. And we're going to go ahead and color the upper part of the nose in black. From here, let's draw a curve for the top of the muzzle just over the nose. So on the left side, we'll curve up above the nose and then down on the right side. Now we're going to take these sides and just curve down the side of the muzzle. So on the left, we'll curve down. And on the right, we'll curve down. Now we're going to connect those two points with a curve for the top part of the mouth. Just going across. Let's add a few dots on either side of the muzzle. So up here on the left, just draw a black spot. We'll draw two more below it. We'll do the same thing on the right. So one at the top and two along the bottom. Let's go ahead and draw in some fangs. So we're going to leave a gap in the middle. On the left side, I'm going to draw a straight line coming down. Leave that gap. On the right side, we'll do the same thing. Now we take these points at the bottom and just curve them up underneath the mouth. We'll do that on both sides. We'll draw another set. So right here at the top, we'll come down with a straight line. We'll do the same thing on the right. And we'll curve this up underneath the mouth. Let's move back up and draw in the eyes. So we're going to leave a big gap in the center here. On the right side, we're going to draw a curve for the inner part of the eye. Just coming right down towards the muzzle. Now we're going to curve the bottom of the eye curving down and over towards the right. We're going to connect those two points with a curve that goes around. Going around the side of the eye and then down on the bottom. Just on the inside of the eye, we're going to draw in the iris. So we're going to draw a small circle starting from the top, come around to the bottom and back up to the top. We'll draw in a smaller circle in the middle for the pupil. Now just above the eye, we're going to draw in a curve for the upper eyelid, just going across the eye. On the side here, we just want to show a little bit of the socket. So we're going to start inside, just curve around, and then down towards the bottom. We'll color the outside edge in black. Now on the left side, we're going to draw on the eye patch. So we're going to line up the top with the right eye, right up here. We're going to draw a curve from left to right. Just leaving that gap in the middle. Now we're going to take these two points and connect it with a curve that comes down the bottom, back up, almost like a half circle. Coming down, just above the muzzle then back up on the right side. Let's go ahead and color all that in black. From here we're going to work our way towards the sides of the cheek. Now he's got these two points, almost like these fur points on the side. So we start on the left side of this corner of the muzzle. We're going to curve up and out towards the left. It's right about there. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So we want to make sure we line up the top and just aim towards the right side. From here, we're going to pull these back in. So we're aiming towards the eyes with a curve, but we're going to stop right above there. Do the same thing on the right side, curving across. Now we're going to do an overlap. So we're going to layer the second set in behind. So we step in, draw another curve. And we'll pull this in towards the eye, again, leaving a little gap on the side. On the right, we'll start here, curving out. We'll curve that back in towards the eye. Now from here, we want to curve the sides of the head, just going up just above the eye line. So on the left side, we're going to curve out and then up. On the right, we'll do the same, curving out and then up. Up here, we're going to have to draw into the sockets for the ears. So on this side here, we're going to curve in the opposite direction, curving in and then up. On the right, we'll do the same. So curving in, then up to the same height. Now these points are going to curve up and then down in towards the center here. Starting on the left, we'll go up and then come down towards the middle. We'll do the same thing on the right. So curving up and then down on the right side. Let's add the straps in for the eye patch. So on this side, on the corner, we're going to go up in an angle, step down and just draw the same line and we'll color that in black. On this side of the eye, we're going to curve this way over the right eye. So starting at this corner, 
curb over the right eye to the side of the head. We'll step down and just draw a nice thick line going across. We're going to color all of that in black. Let's move up above the eyes and draw on the eyebrows. So on the left side here, I'm going to draw a curve going up, then in towards the middle. In here, we're just going to draw an angled line going up. Start aiming towards that point there. Now from this point at the end, we're going to curve in towards the inside. So tapering a line going across. Let's do the same thing on the right. So we're going to start on the inside with that little diagonal line. We'll curve at the bottom, going out. And we'll go back to the top and just taper to the point on the outside. In the center here, let's draw in the little fur. So from the center, we're going to step over towards the left and draw a big curve going over towards the right. We're going to taper that back down, coming down towards the right of that point. Let's draw another fur down here. So we're going to curve out. It's going to be a little shorter. We'll pull that back in. Now the one on the left is going to go in the opposite direction, going out towards the left. We'll pull that back down behind the head. Let's go into the left side here and draw on the ear. So we're going to leave a gap and draw a curve from the bottom. We'll curve up. Now I'm going to take these two points and curve out and then in towards the center point. So I'm going to start by going out to right about here, curving up and then coming down to the bottom. On the bottom side we'll go in the opposite direction, curving around and towards the bottom. We're going to trace the inside out for the inner part of the ear. So working our way across the bottom first along the sides, and then back in. To connect the ear to the head, we're just going to draw two lines angled in, side by side. Let's do the same thing on the right. So we're going to start with that curve first, starting up here, curve across and down. Now these two points are going to curve out towards the center point. So we're going to aim right up to about here. We're going to start at the top, curving out, and into that point. Starting at the bottom, we'll curve down, and go into that point. Again, we're going to trace out the inside. Just working our way around. Now we're going to connect the ear to the head with those two angled lines going out. Now that we got the head, let's work our way down the lower jaw. So right from the sides of the muzzle, right on the left side, we're going to curve down and just sort of pull it inwards. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So curving in to the same height. Now we're going to connect those two points with a curve that goes down in the middle and then back up on the right. Let's add in some fangs. So again, we're going to leave a small gap in the center and we're going to draw an upside down V. We'll leave that gap here. We'll draw another upside down V. We'll do one more set on the side. So it's slightly smaller on both sides. Now we want to layer the teeth going up this way. So about halfway down this line, we're going to go up in an angle and then down to the side of the jaw. Do the same thing on the right. We'll draw one more. So right here, we'll go up then down, up here we'll go up, and then down. We're going to color the inside part of the mouth in black. Now let's go ahead and draw on the outside of the jaw. So we're basically going to follow these three curves on the outside. Starting on the left, we'll curve down. On the right, we'll curve down in the opposite direction. And then connect those two points with the curve. Just like that. Okay, so we've got the head. Let's work our way down the body. So on the side of the lower jaw here, we're going to curve the outside of the body here. So on the left side, we'll curve out and then down. On the right, we're going to curve out and then down. The upper torso is quite short. We're going to connect those two points with a curve just along the waistline, going across. Let's add another two lines for the body patch. So right here on the left side, underneath the jaw, we'll curve down towards the waist. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to create a large opening in the center of the body here. So from the, underneath the chin, we're just going to draw some jagged lines going across. It doesn't have to match exactly the way I do it. In the middle here, we're going to draw two lines down the middle, side by side. Now inside here, we're going to draw two curves going across, just to show the spine. And then on the outsides, we're going to color those in black.
Let's add a few more holes. So on the side here, we're just going to draw like a little jaggedy circle, color that in black. Maybe along the bottom, we'll do the same thing and color that in black as well. From here, let's work our way down the lower torso. So from the hip on the left side, we're just going to curve out. Just do a little bulge on both sides. Now these two points are going to curve down towards the center. So from this point, we're going to curve down and in. We'll curve up over towards the right side. Let's draw on the tops of the legs. So on the outside here, we're going to curve out. On the right, we'll do the same thing, so curving out. On the insides, we're going to curve in the opposite direction. Curving out towards the left, then out towards the right. We'll connect those two points with a curve. Going along the bottom, we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to add some rips along the bottom edge. So what we're going to do on the left side here, we're just going to draw a little curve, almost like a half oval. We'll color that in black. Draw a larger one here. We'll color that in black. Draw a tiny one here on the end. We'll draw a couple more on the right side. Going up with a big one here. Color that in black. Now at the bottom of the pant, we're going to draw in the kneecap. So it's basically a half circle tucked in underneath the upper leg. We'll do that on both sides. And then we're going to draw in the lower shin. So on the bottom of this half circle, we're going to draw two lines coming straight down side by side. We're going to connect it with a curve along the bottom. About halfway down, we're going to draw another curve just to show some metal. And then we'll do the same thing on the right side. So two lines coming down, rounding out the bottom, and then drawing another curve on the inside. Now Foxy's got these big blocky feet, so we're going to keep this quite simple. About halfway down the leg here, we're going to angle down and in. We're going to go across, so just below this curve here, towards the left side. Now from these two points, from the inside and the outside, we're going to draw two short lines coming down. Equal length. We'll connect those two points with a straight line. Now we're going to go in the opposite direction. So we're going to take this line and just duplicate the angle going out. We'll do the same thing along the bottom. Now we're lined up here, so we're just going to draw a straight line coming down. Now we're going to draw a line from here in behind the leg. So following that same angle in behind the leg, we're going to split the toe. So right here in the middle, draw a straight line coming down and a short angled line coming in. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So starting up here about halfway down the leg, we'll angle down and in. Now we're going to do the opposite of this. We're going to go across. Going across to right about there. Now we're going to take these two points and draw two short angle lines coming down and connect it with a straight line. Now from this toe, we're going to go across, just like we did here. We'll draw that twice. Connect the top and bottom with a straight line. Now from here at the toe, we're going to go straight back in behind the leg, just following that same angle. Going across like that. We're going to split the toe in half and then come in with a short line. Now that we have the body and the legs, let's work our way in towards the arms. So we're going to start with the shoulders first. So just up here on the top of the body, we're going to draw a curve going up and out. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Same length. We're going to curve these in behind the jaw. So curving these up and in. On this side, I'm going to have the arms sort of bent up with the hook. So we're going to start from the shoulder, coming down to the elbow, going up towards the hand. So right in here, I'm going to draw a curve. Going across like this. This is the bottom of the hook. We connect those two points with a half circle, going up and then down. Now let's draw on the forearm. So the arm is going to be in this angle here. So we're going to step in from that point, curving the bottom of the forearm. Up here we're going to step in, draw the bottom of the forearm, and we connect those two points with a curve. Now let's connect the forearm to the shoulder. So right at this point, we're going to curve in behind the forearm. And then about halfway on the back end of the forearm here, we're just going to curve in towards the armpit there. Let's add a couple holes. So right here we're going to draw a curve. Color that in black. We'll draw a little jaggedy curve here. Color that in black. And then maybe one more in the shoulder. We'll just draw another half oval. Color that in black. Now for the hook, we're going to draw a curve that goes up and around, almost like a backwards question mark. So in the middle, we're going to step over just a bit, go up, and we'll just swirl this around like that. From this point, we just want to taper out and just keep a consistent thickness all the way around. Okay, now let's go to the right side and draw on this arm. So I'm going to leave a gap from the shoulder to the upper arm here. 
So just below this curve, we're going to draw an opposite curve going across like that. We're going to connect the shoulder to the arm with two lines coming in. From these ends, we're just going to curve around in towards each other. We'll connect those two points with a straight line. Now we're going to have the arm sort of coming down this way. So from the inside, we're going to curve around again. So just bulging out the forearms down to the same height. We'll connect it with a straight line along the bottom. Let's add a couple holes. So a half oval, color that in black, draw another little dot in there, another small half oval there, and maybe one big one along the wrist, we'll color that in black. We'll finish this off with the hand. So we're going to start on the wrist line here, we're going to curve in, and then we'll pull this up for the thumb. Now we want to wrap the fingers around the thumb, so we're going to curve in, we're going to round out the finger, and then pull this back up. We're going to step down. Draw another curve for the second finger. And then the third finger, just down here, will curve around right in towards the wrist. Let's separate the fingers. So up here in the knuckle, we're just going to curve into that point. And then from these two points, we're going to curve around the fingers. And then in the center, we'll do the same thing. And then halfway down each of these fingers, we're going to curve in the opposite direction. Curving to separate the knuckles. And then maybe one more on the thumb. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chibi Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.